Hi everybody, we'll be cruising today up to Hurlston Locks before they shut on Monday for five months while they rebuild the locks. Yeah, the uh, the locks are shutting for five months, or the bottom lock is, because the uh, the walls are caving in and it requires an extensive rebuild. It's so narrow that as Pete went in, he actually got stuck and the CRT guys asked him to reverse out and try again. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is, is Vega. Vega. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates, more to explore. So today we cruise four and three quarter miles. We'll be going from the Middle Witch branch of the Shropshire Union Canal onto the main line of the Shoppy before turning off onto the Langoffon Canal. And we'll be going through six locks. There's one at um, Church Minchel, one at Cholmanston, and then the four Hurlston locks. Yeah, we thought that it was a good opportunity uh, for the winter to get onto the Langoffon before they close the Hurlston locks. I'm going to have to stay on there five months, but it's going to be a bit of a unique experience, we reckon. So let's give it a go. Well, here we are, just about to leave Aqueduct Marina. Ziga's here at the stern, ready to take control. We've put the pram cover down, hopefully right, in the right order. So it'll go up again one day, preferably later. That's what you're hoping. If we get through those locks, we'll see. All right. Yeah, so here we are. Exiting Aqueduct Marina. Been here for just under two weeks to do all those things that we had to do. Get the gas leak sorted. And there we go. Engine chugging away nicely. There we go. Round and out. Back onto the middle witch arm of the Shroppy. Up towards Bar Bridge and then along from there. So let's see how we go. Yeah, so bye bye Aqueduct Marina for now. I'm sure we'll be back at some stage after our winter stay, maybe, on the Langothlin. And there's our first bridge just ahead, and then 100 metres from that, our first lock. So let's get going. Onwards and upwards. Here's one of those classic situations. We're coming up to the bridge. There's a couple of boats moored. Hopefully we can just, and there's one coming at us, obviously, and we're just going to go over to the right and go from there. Just toot up. Mm -hmm. Just edge our way through. Just missed the kingfisher, we think. Well, Ali saw a flash of blue, but I didn't see anything. Should have gone two. Yeah, spec savers. Well, maybe not. Somewhere I can get a decent set of glasses, though. Well, as you can see, we're sporting a new look. Now we've got the pram cover at the back. Ali's got the windlass ready to go. Well, look at that. Ali's straight onto it. Open the right hand lock gate. Now, jumped over it, about to open the left. Then we can go in. Marvellous. 
I've seen a tiny bird whiz past. Don't think it's a kingfisher. There we go. One of those deep ones. Nice and slowly into the lock. And we can pull up. Here we go. Well, nice view here at Church Minchel Lock. We can have a good look around. Back down to the bridge, and obviously just 50 metres to the right of that. Aqueduct Marina. Out we go. Just a nice little bit. go see you now take care have a good day right second bridge done we've only been going 10 minutes is it number seven under our belts right we can just speed it up a little bit i think no boats ahead no bird life about flying here there and everywhere no kingfishers I've spotted so far though this one's a bit of a narrow one as you can see and it's a bit high up the left side here so we just need to avoid it there we go hopefully that should do it bridge number six You just feel you lose a little bit of steerage when you go through somewhere that's so shallow. Well, the field's looking a bit bare now. We're into the autumn phase of the year. Well, we of course did this particular route up and past Hurlston, not up to the hills and then to the Langothlin a few months ago, 1st of June I seem to remember but uh, yeah this one time we're just going to take that right turn up Hurlston as long as we can get through the locks and away we will go I think there's a boat coming out the locks ahead is it Ali? Let's tool through this narrow bridge no trains going across at the minute. There we are, Kiamansi. Could have been, could have been Kama Kazi, I think. Hmm. Well, it was coming off where the service is, either diesel or pump out, and uh, decided to cross the whole of the canal. I thought he must be going into the empty lock that the GRP was coming out of, but no, he wasn't. He was going backwards to somewhere. So if he'd have just stayed there two minutes, job would have been done. He'd had less problems of things to reverse into. But no, that was too easy. What can you say? Well, that was a strange experience. But what do they say? There's now so queer as folk. Where's that? Is that in Yorkshire or somewhere? Anyway, whatever it is, it's probably right because. All they had to do was wait two minutes, maybe not even that. The GRP would have gone through. I would have gone past him straight into the lock and he would have had the full width of the canal to reverse. Hmm. Yeah, so this of course is on Mondeston Lock and uh, it's right next. Venetian Marina, which is right there. 
So in all the excitement of that guy trying to reverse his way down the canal, forgot to mention that. Right, that one's on under our belt. That one took extraordinarily long time due to the incompetence, as it's known. Here we go, onwards and upwards though. Let's hope we don't encounter too many people reversing their way down the canal. <laughs> rocking the lock gate. Well, not really rocking, but you know what I mean. Getting them shut. Well, Ali informs me that there are no more locks until Hurliston Junction. So that's good. Should be able to make steady progress then. Well, still plenty of apples on that tree. Most of the ones I've seen alongside the canal, they've all fallen on the floor. Well, Ziga just seen his first squirrel of the day and he didn't even screech out like he normally does. It sounds like he's in pain usually, but just extended his neck and had a damn good look. Some lovely trees along here. And it's looking very autumnal. And luckily, it's like the rain we had a few days ago, they've still got plenty of leaves. I don't think we're anywhere near Bar Bridge yet. I think we've got a little bit to go. I know it's quite a long stretch. Oh yeah, we've got a CRT mooring spot here. Oh, look at that. It's soulmates. Well, we had a picture of two lovely birds there, cuddling up to each other. So presumably not the music style of soulmates either. Yeah, so Stoke Hall Lane long-term mooring, CRT. You can always give them a ring if you want to stay here. can see the fires are going on these next three boats and I'm pleased to say I think I've nearly wouldn't call it mastered but got the uh, way to make sure that it all fires up get the coals in and the kindling and get it nice and steady and then get so hot that you have to open the windows to cool down well, that's better than freezing, that's for sure. And we've been and bought some coal. So hopefully, we should be all right for the foreseeable. Well, we've got plenty of sheep, of course, in that field, but they got some strange bedfellows. they got the gulls in there. Look how many gulls are over there. Must be plenty for them to meet. Coming from the coast, no doubt. This is probably a bit rough out there. Get some easy pickings. Well, there we are, coming up to bridge number two. Which, of course, means we're not far from that bar bridge. I'm taking that big 90 degree left turn so I'm going to go dead slow I'm not sure how fast dead slow is but tick over is about as slow as I can go I reckon alright let's have a look we'll just put it into a little bit of tick over Feeders getting the hammer in there. All those birds loving it. Yeah, well, they're queuing up. I think they must be British birds, those, because definitely good at queues. The 
bridge. And there's the A51, is it? Which is busy as usual. Let's hope the canal's not quite so busy when I've got to take that 90 degree left turn. The bird box. Mm. Attached to the front of that one. Very handy. Keep Ali's clothes in there. Although she'd say it keeps all my coats, but I don't think that's strictly correct. Happy days, anyway. Well, sounded the horn. We are Ziggy. Well, there we go. I'm just doing a little bit of a side maneuver. So we Go forward, I'll give you the rear view, not of me, of the, from the boat and the bridge. Right, here we go. Right, right, there's the bridge. Fine bridge it is too. Here we go. And since we have last been here, look, they've built a load of houses. How amazing is that in such a short time, five months or whatever it is. And look, you can get them at a, well, snip. Look at that, 569,950. Yeah, it's a bargain. Right, well, we'll... Just past the Bar Bridge sign for the long term moorings, and then we'll be on our way to Hurlston Junction. Will we make it in time to go through the locks tonight? Possibly. I'm going to go quite slow though. Here's Bar Bridge long term moorings on the right, and of course, the Bar Bridge Inn, your ye old Bar Bridge Inn, some call it, will be in about 100 metres. Well, they've got the wind generator there that was just going. Now it's been quite windy, so that would be useful on those occasions. Love going in the Barbridge Inn. They have that great Wheatwoods beer and Ali's favourite liver bacon and onions. One of the best she's ever tasted. Yeah, comment below if you've been in there and had a great meal. What you had? <laughs> Sign writing on that, beautiful. When we were last here, of course, we parked up just down the road here, just down the canal actually. And uh, a boat full of guys on a stag night or stag weekend came along and they were all over the canal I think there was one sober but I don't think he was the guy who was on the tiller and uh, yeah they were one side of the canal the other they fell off the boat one fell in yeah and Ali was worried about our boat being hit but he didn't get hit. It was just up here on the left. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit different to a few months ago, the 1st or 2nd of June when we went past here. That oh, field was full of crops. Now it's full of crows, I think. The video's still not going, is it? What 
What's that about? Yeah, the old GoPros giving up the ghost at the front. Not sure if it's the batteries. Maybe I have to try something else. Get one of those DJI cameras. Maybe see how that will work. Got to be something easy if I'm going to be controlling the boat. Filming with the video camera at the back, another camera at the front, and staying alert. I know, you're thinking, Pete, alert? I don't think so. Well, that's a gorgeous autumn scene, if I've seen one. Those trees looking lovely and yellow. We've got berries galore on the left. see the main building on the Hillston Reservoir a few hundred meters ahead so that signifies we're not that far away so that's good we may well be able to get through those locks tonight and then settle down threatening terrain Feel it a little bit in the air. Ali told me yesterday that tomorrow's gonna there's a weather warning. So we better move today because of all the rain that's gonna be coming down from six o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock at the night. And we've seen that beautiful property before, haven't we? Looks gorgeous. And that building I was talking about on Hurlston Reservoir will now come into view. You'll see it up top, just above the chimney there. Some sort of pumping station, presumably. And there's some more long-term moorings. Yep, there's the reservoir up there. So the River D, of course, provides water for the canal. And that water gets pushed along down towards Hurlston Reservoir. Then can be, whatever they do with it, treated, filtrated, and then used for the population around here at large. Well, here we are approaching Hurlston Locks or Hurlston Junction, whatever you want to call it. It's 3.20 and we're two days before the bottom lock's going to be shut and effectively the whole junction shut, of course, while they do a massive amount of work to make sure that the lock doesn't fall in because it keeps going narrower and narrower, so they've got to take it apart, rebuild it, and that's going to take a few months. The right turn, Ali can jump off and help, and away we go. 90 degrees. Getting ready, Ali.
So here we are, Hilston Junction. So here we are at Hurlston Bottom Lock and this is the lock that requires a major rebuild which will take five months according to the stoppage of the schedule and so we've already been in the lock once but unfortunately Pete put the fenders up on the sides and they rolled back down and got the boat wedged in the lock so the guys asked him to go back out um, and we've just cut them all off so that they don't roll down and get stuck again when he comes through this time. So the uh, the walls are caving in basically and they can't afford to have a fender or anything wedged along the wall. So here he comes and we'll have a, another go, take two and see how it all goes. It's great they got the uh, volunteers, CRT workers um, on here helping people through and this is Friday the 1st of November and Sunday is the last day that anyone can have help going up through here um, and then it'll be closed for five months till 27th of March I think it is. Alright, hopefully we don't get stuck this time. So we decided to take them off all together, take no chance because there's not much room for manoeuvre as you'll see down each side, that's one side, yeah, hello just looking at the other side, it's a bit tight isn't it, yeah it's a bit tight so that's why it's going to be taken apart and rebuilt, there it is, Hilston lock number one. Lock number one done, the tricky one, and that's the first time we've ever been in and out of a lock, twice, so on to lock number two. Yeah, so here we are in lock number two, and of course this one isn't bowing in, so uh, there's not any problems to show you. See quite a bit of a gap down that side and a gap down that side. And here we are, lock number two, successfully out. Well, we will be shortly, and then into lock number three. You have to, they put these pieces of wood in, do they, to hold them in place, these, because they keep opening, can you see? Mm. There's no boat coming. Pound at the side, which usually, if there's a boat, you've got to go a little bit to the right, and then you both sort of cross each other in the middle, which is good. trouble when you take off a bit of power you get lose your steerage so anyway ready to go in nice and slowly here we are in lock number three Ali's helping out and the lock keeper he's gone up to the next one to set it he did not like there was anybody else coming down so it should be all good number three done well here we are coming up to the final lock for the day Let's get through this one and then we can park up somewhere. 
Ali waiting to do the lock on her own this time. One of the CRT men has already emptied it, as you can see. We're ready to get it filled in in a minute. And there's a lovely lockside cottage. Yeah, so in the final lock, and look over there. I reckon that's all the equipment being moved in, ready to do this big job of rebuilding that lock number one. They're going to have a heck of a lot of machinery, I reckon, and to take it apart and then rebuild it. We'll see. And there's the overflow, of course, going into the Hurlston Reservoir, which is just there, as you can see. Ali's just helping out by emptying the lock, resetting the front ones, and then going to the back to empty those uh, to undo the paddles and go from there. We just had a word with Mark from m &L Canal Services and, uh, of course, also Cheshire Cat Narrowboat Services, the hires, and, yeah, you can uh, repair our gas leak the other week. Fantastic. He's the man. If you need anything doing along those lines, mechanical or gas. Well, goodbye, Hurlston Junction. Hello, Langoflin Canal. Here we are. We're just trying to find somewhere to moor up here. Probably not right next to the A51, which is a bit noisy at the best of times. Hey? Why is the rings? No. Is there a gap in between? You just have a look in a minute. I'll just put this in the the bin. Yeah. Let's pull up here. Let's have a look at what's there. So we thought we'd finish off a little walk around. Hurliston Reservoir and give you a bit of a view with some of the photos that we took. So here they are. If you like the vlog, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you'd like to know when the next vlog's out, click the bell button. Thanks for watching everybody, take care out there, bye for now.